السلام علیکم آئی ہوپ یو آر فائن ٹوڈے وی آر ٹو فنش ود دا فسٹ ریڈنگ سلیکشن یسٹرڈے وی ٹاک ڈے دا سی گل ڈائٹ ایٹ دا فش سنس ہی واز میڈن بائی ہنگر گائس لیٹ اس بگن ود دا ٹوڈیز لیکچر اینڈ سی what happens with a loud scream he fell outwards and downwards into space it means when he dived at the fish first he made a lofty shriek or a loud scream and he dropped into space flying upwards and downwards his mother had swooped upwards okay seeing her young one flying and falling his mother also dived into space okay in the upward direction swoop means his mother took a swift ascent through the air it also means a rapid flight as he passed beneath her he heard the swish of her wings by the time the young seagull flying while flying passed beneath her he heard the rustling the brushing okay of her wings her wings means her, his mother's wings okay he was she was also flying with him then a monstrous terror seized him and his heart still stood still by the very next moment it seems that he was gripped or he was grabbed he was insieged by a monstrous terror by a hideous or horrific terrific panic terror means panic and he feels or he felt that his heart was not beating he could hear nothing he could hear nothing but it only lasted a moment but this situation only prevailed or endured lasted means endured retained a moment a second the next moment he fell his wings separate outwards okay then he felt that his wings began to walk his wings separate to lift him okay to the uh, upward direction or in the upward direction he felt that his wings separate outwards he, he his wings started began flapping and taking or lifting him in the upward direction the wind rushed against his breast feeders then under his stomach and against his wings he felt that okay the wind passed through okay from different parts of his body like okay he felt that the wind passed through or passed against his chest okay feathers right and then under his belly or stomach and against his wings he could feel the tips of his wings cutting through the air okay he could feel that 
the margin of his wings the extreme margin of his wings that is tips were passing through were cutting through means was were passing through the air right he was not falling headlong now headlong means with head down with head down he was not falling with the head down now he was soaring gradually downwards and outwards he was flying he was gliding step by step bit by bit okay gradually in the downward direction then upward direction now all was in his control he was not at all okay on the mercy of circumstances or situation around him right he was no longer afraid he was not at all scared or frightened he just felt a bit dizzy what all he felt is a bit dizzy a little bit okay woody or diggy dizzy means he feels that his head is spinning he felt that he felt his head is okay spinning that is dizzy as it happens okay when we take uh, or when we travel by air okay especially when the aircraft takes off or lands okay on the airport okay it feels like that then he flapped his wings once and soared upwards suddenly he flapped he motioned he thrust his wings and flew in the upward direction right now he has learned to fly okay finally he had got succeeded in taking first flight and all the credit okay go to his mother who used all possible means to make this young one take his first flight right he uttered a joyous scream and flapped them again okay he verbalized he produced a joyous scream a jubilant full of joy full of happiness that is what we call joyous he produced a jubilant shriek and fluttered or flap motioned the wings his wings again he soared higher he flew higher he glided higher okay he went higher he raised his breast and banked it is not backed okay just to make it correct b a n k e d banked means to tip in lateral direction okay he raised his breast and backed against the wing okay he pushed his chest forward and tipped in the lateral direction okay there is a sentence uh, to make you understand about this word like the pilot had to the pilot had to bank the aircraft okay especially at the time of landing uh, on airports like skardu airport okay the pilots often okay have to bank the aircraft ha have to tip okay the aircraft in lateral direction that is what we call okay banked against the wing go 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 ola his mother swooped past him okay making such noises his mother dived his mother took a swift right glide into space over him past him means above him her wings making a lot noises while her wings were making 
okay lofty gigantic okay big noise he answered her with another scream okay the young seagull replied responded to her to his mother okay with another scream or shriek then his father flew over him screaming okay and by the next woman his father came and flew or glided over and around him okay making such okay uh, jubilant or joyous screams then he saw his two brothers and sister and his sister flying around him coveting banking soaring and diving right okay coveting means to move okay playfully to move playfully that is also called vaulting v a u l t i n g vaulting tipping in lateral direction soaring means flying and diving jumping okay showing different tricks okay the whole family gathered over there flying around and along with him right then he completely forgot that he had not always been able to fly dear students it happens in life that there, there is a message okay uh, there is uh, an implicit message hidden mis message in this okay story that is whenever someone or one gets success he forgets how much it would have been harder for him or how much he had okay okay put in okay that much effort to okay get that success it happens so commenced himself to dive he forgot how difficult it would have been for him to take his first flight then making himself ready okay to take okay more flights okay he commenced himself to dive he began himself to okay dive jump soar fly covert okay move playfully or vault and shrieking shrilly and making different okay uh, joyful noises he was near the sea now flying straight over it he was flying just above the sea okay the gigantic or the vast belt or region of sea was just okay beneath himself or his wings facing straight out over the ocean okay he was just above the sea flying he saw a vast green sea beneath him with little ridges moving over it while flying he saw okay uh, a vast green sea beneath him and there was okay little small ridges ridges means waves waves layers moving over it over the sea he turned his beak sideways means he okay was coveting okay to uh, turn the beaks sideways means coveting that is what we call covert so he turned his beak sideways and crowd amusedly in a joyous way in a joyous manner and around him his family was screaming his family was also screaming okay along with him flying around him praising him applauding him appreciating him and their beaks were offering him scraps of block fish now okay there were so many beaks okay which were offering him scraps of okay dog fish a kind of small fish right he made his first flight okay finally why because he succeeded in making his first flight thank you guys now we have completed the first reading selection 
Take on page number 17, there are some questions. Some questions had already been given to you and I hope you okay, surely have answered them. Okay, let's see the question number four. What does he feel? He feel means the seagull feel when he finally flaps his wings and finds that he is not falling. Okay, go to the relevant paragraph, read again and again and answer this question. Question number five is are the following true or false? Mark T for true and F for false. First statement is the young seagull had never been off his ledge before. It means he had never been taken off or flown away. Okay, his ledge. That is true. Okay, it was his first flight. Okay, they were actually uh, newly hatched one who just emerged had just who had just emerged from uh, X. So that was their first flight. Okay. Second statement is his sister was smaller than him. That this is true. The young seagull fell off the ledge into the water. No. It never happened in the story. False. The seagull's family was afraid what date he would drown. No, not at all. Okay. Go to the interpreting questions. Okay. Uh, the answer to these two questions okay, will be based on your interpretation. Okay. How do you interpret the or how have you interpreted the story? understood the story what is significant about the birds first flight okay it doesn't talk about okay the birds first flight right okay you can answer whatever uh, the way you like to opt for what lesson do you learn from this simple story and question number uh, eight and nine are extended once Question number eight is why is it difficult to do something for the first time? Okay, you can go generally to answer this question. Okay, uh, it is not necessary to okay mention things or uh, instances from the story. It is a general kind of uh, question, so you can go uh, generally to answer this question. Right? And just uh, skip with this question. Question number nine: Have you ever found yourself in a situation in which you were supposed to do something for the first time? and you couldn't muster up courage to do it if you have just okay uh, write it down but it is not that mandatory right so guys enough for today inshallah i'll come up with uh, a language study section okay by tomorrow onwards thank you for being passion and passionate i hope you surely have enjoyed this story